Hello everyone, my name is the Lego Kid 2003 and today we're playing some Genshin Impact. Um, first up, I'm really sorry that I'm like half an hour late. Um, Genshin took a little longer than hoped to actually um, go through the update process. But it's just about done updating, it's just verifying file integrity and all that. So, we're definitely playing Genshin today. Uh, 4.0 officially launched a little earlier this week as of this going live, so that does mean that we get to finally explore the nation of Hydro Fontaine. So, that is definitely going to be something I'm super excited about, because I've really been looking forward to this for the past couple, couple months. So, we do have that. Um, of course, we do have the Archon Quest. We're going to be going through Part 1 today. Or at the very least, uh, as much of Part 1 as two and a half hours will allow. And it looks like everything just finished loading, so hopefully we will be able to get this party started. Um, you know, I'm just gonna continue explaining everything else once. We're actually in the game! Of course, in between the last episode and this episode, my team did go through a couple light changes. There, there are a couple couple things I wanted, to, I wanted to switch around. Of course, yeah, we'll still be my loyal main DPS. It's just that I initially had that for the past little bit I had Farazan in there. She is now um, no longer in the team. She's been switched out with Lynette. So it's still somewhat of a mono animo team just with the Traveler to provide a swirlable, a swirlable element. So, yeah, that's, that's, that's honestly really the only change, like the only unit change that I actually made. Also, we do have drops this, this time. Until uh, September 5th, um, for those who are watching live on Twitch, you would get free Genshin drops to celebrate the arrival of 4.0. So basically, the longer that you watch a stream with drops on, the more rewards you get. I don't remember what it is, like what what the I, I don't remember what the drops are, but I do know you get premium gems if you watch for like two hours, I think. I think it's either an hour and a half or two hours. One of the, one of the, one of the two. All right, looks like the game is loading. Um, I don't know how much lag there's gonna be. So hopefully, hopefully it won't be too bad. Hopefully it won't be too terrible. Uh, I will say this, I did ever so slightly spoil myself, and I poked around the border of, uh, of Fontaine. So I do know, like, what slight parts of it look like, but in terms of, like, all this stuff that's, like, actually inside, inside Fontaine, I have basically no idea <laughs> beyond what we've, uh, already been shown publicly. Because I do try to stay away from leaks. Oh, it is kind of hard. Oh, there we go. Looks like we're in. Oh, yep, and there's Lynette. And of course, we're in the desert, so there's way too much lag. Uh, hold on, I just realized. Oh, Kazuha! Hello! It has been a while. But yeah, we, we have Lynette. Who is a four-star animo unit. I did temporarily give her the alley flash. I will be giving her a better weapon 
once I get the opportunity. And of course, her crit rate doesn't even work, but it's fine. I'm currently making Kazuha into a DPS. Ooh. Oh, yeah, saying this now, I'm not wishing for the Game Magician. <laughs> for those who are currently judging me on the... on me calling Linny a Game Magician, you cannot look at this outfit and tell me straight. It's impossible. Game... <laughs> yes, indeed, Linny's a Game Magician. I'm calling Linny a Game Magician, and I'm not sorry. Anyways, oh wait, no, it would make more canonical sense if I, uh, have a traveler. Of course, I need- No. We're not logging out. No. Of course, I do need to turn on the audio, because I will be, uh, muting and unmuting myself as needed. There we go. As you can see, I already have my, uh, my wave rider all nice and ready. Just to say, I'm gonna get Rhea Thessaly, the guy with the handcuffs hanging on his head. <laughs> Why did I just have a feeling that that's what you were going to do? Oh, dang it. I know, I'm really sorry. But they're necessities. Okay, we back. Okay, cool. The the ads weren't for too long. As you can see, I have the Wave Rider. I, I have the lag boat. Also, normally there'd be a Hydroculus on that boat there, but I already grabbed it. Because I'm impatient. Oh wait, I need to do Valfast stuff. What'd you say again? Uh, basically, just goofing, saying that Hopefully there shouldn't be so much lag. We're on the Wave Rider, heading to Fontaine. Very pretty. Oh, wait, we need to activate the Archon Quest, don't we? No, there's still st Uh, I have to go to Caravan Rebot. Fine. I guess there's something we have to do beforehand. Uh, I just want to go to Fontaine already. But I guess we do have to say goodbye to Sumeru. So that, that is a thing that we need to do first. Hmm. But yeah, we're gonna be going through part one of our conquest today. We might be going through part two tomorrow. I don't know. Oh yeah, I remember what I was saying. I'm not wishing for for Linny. Not not right now. Because my main focus is to try to get the Archons, because I didn't get them when I actually had opportunities. Cough, cough, when Miko and I auto debuted. But yeah, hopefully the lag of Fontaine will uh, be non existent. Anyways. had been trapped by the doctor, but we followed the clues she left behind to help her. So much time has already passed since then, and it seems Sumeru is changing for the better now that Nahida's in charge, right? Yeah, also for good this stuff. Stuff. Will last a long time, anyway, and then Nahida won't have, have any more new stream, problems stream, to deal stream, with. Yeah, guess you're right. Hmm. We somehow always find ourselves right in the thick of it. Who knows what will happen next? Come to think of it, 
Maybe it's all because of you. Maybe you're just a magnet for trouble. She was super tired. Paimon got caught in some strange whirlpool and sucked out into sea. And even then, you fished Paimon out. <sighs> anyway, for Nahida's sake, maybe we should think about heading to our next destination for now. Ah, look who it is. Running into you in a place like this? I can see you two still love wandering around. Nothing to do with our journey. But never mind that. What brings you here? I just finished a commission in the desert for a usual client of mine. Nothing too interesting. Just escorting a shipment of goods. I'm on my way to report back. That's when I saw you two all the way over there, chatting away. What were you two talking about anyway? Huh? Y you serious? Can't say I saw that coming. Hmm, but you are travelers after all. I guess you'd never stay for too long in one place. Bumping into you like this will become a rarity. Ah, I'm starting to feel sad just thinking about it. Hey, how about I gather a few mercs to escort you two? Yeah, what do you say? Motion, Thanks, but no need. Oh. Paimon had no clue you'd miss us so much. But don't worry, we'll come back to see everyone when we get a chance. <laughs> Sounds good. All you need to do to get to Fontaine is cross this stretch of desert and navigate some waterways. Knowing you two, I'm sure it won't be anything you can't handle. So, uh, when are you leaving? Oh, wait a sec. Paimon just remembered there are still a few dishes in Sumeru that Paimon hasn't tried yet. Now, where is that list Paimon made? Hmm. <laughs> I see. Guess you won't be needing a going away party or anything. It's sad enough to see you go like this. Though, now that I think about it, Sumeru wouldn't be what it is today without you. Seems true heroes always prefer leaving quietly. <laughs> by the way, should we go say bye to Nahida? Oh, good point. Then there's no need to bother her in the real world. Then, I guess this is goodbye for now, Traveler and Paimon. Whether as a client or a friend, you're always welcome to come find me. Sumeru has officially come to an end in terms of streams. Okay, so now we can actually go to Fontaine. I can technically, if I really wanted to. Nah, I'm gonna go the fun way. I'm, I'm not risking the, the stamina. Again, how E Wait, let's see if I can glide over to where my wave rider is. It's like nearly there. Let's 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 see how far I can push it.
I can just glide. <laughs> Now there is a really good chance that there might be like a lot, a lot of, uh, of lag since my computer isn't quite used to Fontaine yet, seeing as it just updated. So, uh, prepare for the worst, I guess, in terms of stream quality. Seems like it's handling it just fine, though. I just gotta lightly, lightly touch down. Passing all that sand and water, we finally made it! Oh, this must be Fontaine's port! Wow! Everything looks so advanced in Fontaine! Paimon's heard that the industry here is extremely developed, and there are all kinds of unusual machines! Just seeing the sights as a tourist is nice, but maybe it would be better if we found something to do! What do you think? Good idea! Nahida gave us loads of useful information. Seeking out the seven is probably still our best source for information at this point. Yeah! The more we can learn, the better. So, what do you think the Hydro Archon's like? Will we get along? Nahida said that she has a very unique personality. Whatever that means. To learn about a nation's god, start with the nation's people. There seems to be some locals talking over there. Let's go see if we can join the party. If you ask me, it's a tragedy how things ended for him. Clearly, he was a pretty decent person. Yeah, I didn't expect that kind of ending for him. I thought he would at least fight on a little longer for his family. I was expecting a sudden plot twist, but it's a pity that it never happened. Still, his story is quite the tearjerker. Uh, excuse me. Can I help you too? I couldn't help but notice you standing here listening. Uh, hi. <laughs> We're travelers new to Fontaine, and we had something we wanted to ask. But you seem to be really busy talking about some kind of play, so we didn't want to interrupt. A <laughs> uh, play? Oh, no, no, no. We're talking about something that really happened. In fact, it's a case that was just heard a few days ago. Really? Like, a real trial? But the way you were talking about it and the words you used just now made it sound like some kind of story. Well, good tales are often based on true stories, aren't they? And what you see in reality may also be someone deliberately putting on an act while harboring ulterior motives. Whether something is true or not simply isn't that important. The main thing is whether the story being acted out on the stage is splendid enough. Oh, but it looks like you're not from around here. You probably don't know that the Fontaine Court of Justice is called the Opera Epicles, or more commonly known as just the Opera House. But, uh, shouldn't court cases be treated a little more seriously than that? Not to question Fontaine's way of doing things. It's just that putting someone on trial is usually a very serious thing. <laughs> no worries. Other visitors to Fontaine have wondered the same thing. You could say that we just don't want to waste the moving stories behind those cases. And as for your worries about whether the cases are treated with due reverence, we have the absolutely just and honorable Chief Justice Nouvellet, as well as the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal, a machine created by the Archon. Between the machine and the Chief Justice, false charges and injustice are a thing of the past now. Pure trees? Is it some kind of machine, too? Oh, Paimon's curious. We should check it out if we get the chance. Wait, Paimon almost forgot to ask you our question. Um, do you know what we should do if we want to meet the Hydro Archon? Oh, that's easy. Just go to the Opera House. 
Lady Farina practically lives there. You could definitely say it's her biggest passion. Ha. Uh, I think what they mean is that they wish to speak with the Archon personally. In that case, I'm afraid it's going to be a tad more difficult. You'll have to make an appointment well in advance, and it'll depend on whether or not she has any time slots available. Super busy taking care of official stuff? Wait, didn't you say that she's always at the Opera House? No, no. Lady Farina seldom takes an interest with the nation's affairs. The reason it's difficult to make an appointment is simply because she's incredibly popular. That's right. After all, she is the Archon. Though she may tend to get a little dramatic from time to time, people can't get enough of her. Huh. First time Paimon's ever heard of an Archon being described that way before. <gasps> Wait! Paimon gets it now! The Hydro Archon is kinda like a big celebrity here, right? Yeah, I suppose you could say that. <laughs> Perhaps you could even say our mascot. Hang on. This is still Fontaine's Archon you're talking about. You should show some more respect. Yes, you're right. I guess I should at least try to be a little more respectful in front of visitors. Otherwise, I might get arrested and find myself face to face with Monsieur Nouvellette. <laughs> Come on. Sure, there's a lot of laws here. But nobody's going to be arrested for saying something disrespectful about the Hydro Archon. All right. I think we get it. Thank you. At least we now know that we can find the Hydro Archon at the Opera House. Who knows how long making an appointment will take? <sighs> Guess we could have a look around the city in the meantime. Hey! What are you looking over there for? Huh. Maybe something's the matter. <gasps> she isn't going to jump into the water, is she? Uh, maybe we better go check on her. Things are getting very interesting. It seems like my computer is handle. Yeah, the, the stream's handling Fontaine okay, it seems. Yeah, we're, we're good. That's fine. But yeah, this is Lynette, as you probably already know. things actually but there's nothing I can do but just keep my troubles to myself I was just reminiscing about a place my brother and I would play when we were kids it was just atop that hill over there see uh you're pointing at the sea <laughs> wait are you saying that you and your brother lived in the water No people call the waters around Fontaine a sea. It's actually just an inland lake that's filled with fresh water. And no, I can still see that hill clearly in my memories. Now, it's been completely submerged. He would skip and jump, tossing sand in the wind. Dust. The sun Dust. shone brightly, and the air was filled with the scent of the sea. But now, the water Dust. is Dust. gradually Dust. swallowing our memories. Hmm. <sighs> It won't be long before it swallows us. Uh, sorry. Simon doesn't really get what you mean. Sorry about that, everyone. Is ah, that I, I don't believe we've had the pleasure of meeting. No, the are you Lynette's new friends? Oh, and you are? 
Thanks for looking after my sister. She often comes here to reminisce about our childhood, that's all. There's no need for any concern. Oh, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Linny, and this is my sister, Lynette. If I had to guess, I'd say you must be travelers from abroad. Nice to meet you! Paimon is Paimon, and this is a traveler. We just arrived in Fontaine. We were just talking with your sister. Uh, even though we didn't really get what she was saying. Hmm, yeah, it's kind of let's see. It's unusual for Lynette to be so willing to talk with anyone. In fact, she seldom speaks at all. I'm usually the only one she ever talks to. Oh, really? Then you two are just like us! Paimon's always the one talking for some reason. <laughs> so that's how you think it is? I also think my brother can be too talkative at times. Oh. <laughs> Seems you were right, Paimon. We are quite similar. when she said that the water is engulfing your memories and that it won't be long before it engulfs you too. Oh, that. It's from a prophecy that's been circulating in Fontaine for some time now. Well, I suppose prophecy isn't exactly the right word because that implies a certain amount of uncertainty. There's no doubt about what's happening in Fontaine now. Where to begin? Hmm. Let's put that question on hold for a moment. We still haven't formally greeted each other yet, have we? Uh, did all the introductions earlier not count? Hello, traveler. And hello, Paimon. Hey! Why didn't Paimon get a handshake? Oh. You're not poking fun at Paimon, are you? <laughs> Please, don't take offense. Just consider it a sort of etiquette we have here in Fontaine when making new friends. You should remember it. It might prove useful. Oh, all right then. Well, Paimon's just happy to have a local friend now. By the way, we were just getting ready to go to the Opera House to meet the Hydro Archon. Would you be able to show us the way? Huh. So you're going to see Lady Farina? No problem at all. In fact, I was planning to go to the Opera House later myself. I'll gladly take you once I finish things here. Please follow me. So we immediately got to meet the twins, Lenny and Lynette. So the, the quest markers just follow Lenny. So he's just gonna kind of show us around, I guess. What's going on? Uh, you said you were going to see Lady Farina? Well, it seems Lady Farina has come to see you. in hand and those with nothing at all raise your glasses in celebration if you don't have one then just raise your hand in lieu no one has a cup their hands as you 
can all see, two unfamiliar travelers have arrived in our nation. Come, let us make a toast in honor of this traveler and his companion, who have journeyed here from distant lands. That goes kind of quiet, so quiet. It's probably not feeling immediately. Notice immediately. Notice immediately. Uh, so it should be fine. Is she talking about us? I would imagine so. Imagine so. <laughs> I've long heard of the turmoil and chaos you've left in your wake as you visited other nations, but I welcome you nevertheless. No, I have come to receive you personally. Fear is for insignificant cowards. I am a god, and I will never entertain the notion of such meaningless wariness. You can be rest assured. I see clearly your sincerity. Of course, seeking an audience with me is the most sensible thing to do. It will allow you to truly behold my power and witness my authority. Intelligent people always gather under the <laughs> correct banner. I, Thosalor, hereby welcome you to the nation of Hydro and acknowledge the value and significance of your trip. Now, you may rejoice in this. Yeah, Paimon still can't believe it. Feels like we've only been here for a few minutes. Because we have several have Hydro icon's entrance was, uh, how should Paimon describe it? A little. Over the top? Ahem. <clears throat> uh, Miss Hydro Icon? How did you know we were coming? Ah, I see. As Outlanders, you inevitably lack even some of the most basic understanding. Hell Don't yeah, forget yeah. that even the gods can be divided into the mediocre and the excellent. I suppose it's only natural for you to be awestruck by my abilities. You had best stop and consider. Do you really have the noble qualities and etiquette necessary to communicate with a god? All it takes is a flick of my finger for me to know everything about you. Whoa. Talk about sounding high and mighty. So, Lynette so, has Lucia, Lucia. Lenny has Lenny Numa, has and Numa. I'm assuming that assuming the traveler is going to have Numa. Numa. So we can so we get through everything. Like, get through everything. Feels like she can get through everything. <laughs> oh? What's with these looks? Perhaps the welcoming ceremony still isn't enough? Hmm. What else should I say then? Uh. Is she waiting for us to start talking? Wow, I didn't expect to see Lady Farina here. What a surprise! Wait, does this mean they're the legendary blonde traveler? How did I not notice before? Somehow I don't Hey, know what's all the commotion? Oh, is that Lady Farina? Is there some kind of drama going on? Of course, that's the blonde traveler. The one all those stories are about. Lady Farina came here to personally see him. Oh, I bet this is going to be the duel of the century. Oh, I've got to see this. I knew Lady Farina would never disappoint. <laughs> yes, but don't get too excited now. My dear believers and spectators alike tend to get quite rowdy. And despite the noise, I've come to tolerate all their ruckus. You may consider this my reward to all of you. I have determined that there will be an epic duel between myself and this traveler from another land, just as you were hoping to see. Do we get to fight already? Uh, fight already? Now she wants to Let's do this. Let's do this. Fighting gods on the resume. Yeah, we finally fought. We finally fought. The Electro Archon. Electro Archon. Twice. Twice. And we fought. And we fought. Uh, Scorn Bush. Back in Sumeru. Back in Sumeru. 
So, yeah, we so, are yeah, starting to build up a bit of a god fighting god resume. Fighting resume. Afraid. Might I remind you that this is a duel against the divine? We fought against the electrical. What are you trying to do, one. traveler? Provoking a god in front of her people? Ahem. Stand down, Clorant. I admire his bravery. Few have the courage to draw their sword against a god. He is obviously a true warrior. <laughs> Unfortunately, people nowadays only crave to be thrilled, and a mere duel will not slake their thirst for excitement. Like, obviously, this is like, yeah, she's right. Uh, a duel wouldn't be all that interesting. Uh, well, with her, uh, on Aranius, criminals are always requesting duels to defend their honor. It's a real thing. Getting a bit old, to tell the truth. The way they did it was the way they did it was. Then, as the god of justice. I shall face this traveler in another kind of duel. A duel in court! Are we getting arrested? Are we getting arrested? Oh, no, 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 right. no, 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 now that'll be worth seeing! Did I do? Did I do? Right. This is Fontaine, after all. It's such a grand opera house. It would be a pity not to use it. Why do you care so much about the crowd's reactions? Seems you've spent a little too much time in the opera house. Do you plan to have a duel in court? You mean you're going to put us on trial? <laughs> oh, we have reason to put you on trial. It's obvious, isn't it? According to Fontaine Law, no one is permitted to release any flying objects within Fontaine city limits during the first three days of each month. Well, you are clearly this. guilty of violating this law, no? Oh, so that's what they've done wrong. Mm, that's our Lady Farina. No one knows the laws of Fontaine that's like she does. What's this? What's this? You call that obvious? What kind of law is that? Wait, flying object? <gasps> you mean Paimon? Assume it'd be slow. Assume it'd be slow. Now, if you two have no objections, then in the name of the Hydro Archon, I herself, order your herself. arrest. My apologies, Lady Farina. I don't mean to spoil the fun. But if you would allow me to interject, I don't think that Paimon here meets the definition of a flying object. You tell her, Lenny! I know someone who's not crazy. How could anyone call Paimon a flying object? Ah, great magician Linny, my beloved citizen. I'll permit you to object, but how exactly do you plan to prove your claim? <laughs> As a magician who just rained on your parade, I naturally should shoulder the responsibility of saving the show. So, with such an audience gathered here, allow me to perform a trick for everyone. This is Fontaine's 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 Fonta
not sure what to think. It seems Lady Farina's charges no longer hold water. sort of unexpected twist that I enjoy. With you here, today's performance can finally be called complete. Performance? You see all this as a performance? In which case, consider the matter of your trial resolved. The god of justice will not bring charges against an innocent person. But... When there are valid grounds, I will not only judge travelers from abroad, but even the gods of other lands. <laughs> I look forward to seeing your upcoming performance at the Opera House, Mr. Linny and Miss Lynette. That's enough for now. Toodaloo! Future Paimon. That whole scene just now was really. <sighs> Don't mention it. I just happened to remember that there was such a law, so I did a little preparation, just in case. I didn't think it would actually come in handy. So, now do you see what kind of god Lady Farina is? She can be a bit confusing at times, but she is still amenable to reason. Magician Linny. It sounded like you'll be performing at the Opera House, right? <laughs> I just know a few simple tricks I use to make a living. Lynette is my assistant. It will actually be my first time performing on the most prestigious stage in Fontaine, the Opera House. But isn't the Opera House where criminal trials are held in Fontaine? When there are no public trials being held, the Opera House hosts a variety of other performances. To the people of Fontaine, the line between a trial and a performance can be a little blurred. And speaking of performances, I would be remiss to forego this opportunity gifted by fate. Might I invite the two of you to see my performance? My brother's always excited to make new friends. Oh, sure. We don't really have anything to do now, and we wanted to go to the Opera House anyway. Splendid. In that case, why don't we go together? I'll show you the way. I just have something to take care of first. Oh, you really mean it? Then I'll take you up on your offer. This is a magical item known as a magic pocket. Perhaps you can help me distribute them to the people here. Huh? What are they going to use it for? About that... Hmm. You asked me before about the prophecy, right? Let me start by telling you a little more about what it entails. I'm not sure exactly when it began, but a prophecy has been circulating around Fontaine. It says that every person in Fontaine is born with sin. No matter how the Nation of Justice holds trial after trial, this sin cannot be absolved. Until one day, the water levels in Fontaine will rise, and the sinful people will slowly be drowned. In the end, the people will all be dissolved into the waters, and only the Hydro Archon will remain, weeping on her throne. Only then will the sins of the people of Fontaine be washed away. That sounds pretty gloomy. Why are people in Fontaine born with sin? What does that 
supposed to mean? There are lots of guesses. Some say that the ancestors of Fontaine stole the power of the seas and stirred its wrath. Okay, muted desktop audio really quickly. Just like that. I know what Mahoya is doing. Because I know the exact story this parallels. For... This is kind of an if-you-know-you-know -you -know moment. And I honestly despise for forcing biblical talk. Or just, like, forcing Christianity on people, because it's just, no. It's just not okay to force your beliefs on another person. But this basically parallels the story of Noah. How it goes is that the people became so corrupt and evil that God basically flooded the entire world to basically factor, factory reset everything. And God hand-selected some people to survive and kind of repopulate the earth. So God chose Noah to build an ark, basically like a giant boat, with two of every kind of animal, so that along with the humans, they could repopulate the entire Earth. The whole flooding of Fontaine and the sins of the people will be washed, washed away, that's almost a perfect one-to-one -one parallel. With Fontaine basically being the entirety of the Earth, Fontaine being flooded to wash away the sins of the people, Earth being flooded to do the same thing, the Hydro Archon being the sole survivor. I know what you're doing, Mahoyo. I, I know what you're doing. Hmm. Many places have already been completely submerged, and now lie beneath the sea. Many people carry on with their lives as before and shrug it off as a natural phenomenon. But my family and I think that the people of Fontaine shouldn't ignore the possibility, which would end up sentencing them to death. We hope that at least the people who reside near the waterfront can move away before it's too late. So, we've started distributing magic pockets to them. As a magical item, these magic pockets have astonishing capacity. I'm sure they will come in handy when people are moving their belongings. Oh, Hyman gets it! It's like preparing for a rainy day! But this is more than a bit of rain. Hmm. Perhaps only absolute power could ever contend with such a catastrophe. <laughs> but who knows? We're just tiny specks in the grand scheme of things. Now, if you'd like to help, then please give these magic pockets to anyone nearby. Be sure to convince them to take it, regardless of what they say. Like water disappearing into water. But yeah, anyways, uh, sorry for the whole biblical talk deal. Again, I don't really like forcing my own religious values on people without their other consent. But I just found the the uh the parallels worth talking about. I really like the NPC names. Yeah, that's one of the many mantra I live off of. A magician. I think you're forgetting a, a certain descriptor there. Oh well. Uh, where are the others? Oh, there's one right here. Cool. I'm not even gonna attempt to pronounce that. And small little warning: I don't speak French. The the only languages is I, the only languages I speak are English, Spanish, and like a tiny bit of Japanese. French is not in there. 
I, I do not know a single lick of French, so if I butcher the names, any of my viewers from France, please, uh, please correct me. It would, it would be a large help, so that I can uh, pronounce the names correctly moving forward. Anyways, what does uh, what does this guy have to say, Mr. Uniform over here? Okay, suit yourself. Goodbye. Called drowning. Not very fun. As we've seen, as I've accidentally drowned in this game more times than I really should. Anyways, friend on boat. How did I achieve the wet status even though I didn't even touch the water? Okay, see yourself. Goodbye. Okay, the passage doesn't define you. If, if you have to, if you have to leave, then go for it. What you gotta do? I mean, I know eventually I'm gonna have to move out of my parents' house. So, what did people have to say? I bet you heard some uh, interesting opinions. Yes, but that will change once disaster strikes. I know they'll change their minds, so it's only right to help them prepare. Is there anything else you need to do before we leave? Yes, one last thing. I have the magic pockets made by a workshop in the Court of Fontaine. Since we're out and about, I was thinking about bringing him some more materials. So, you want to collect materials? Just tell us what the materials look like and we'll help! Many hands make light work! Oh, that would be much appreciated. We'll need some Romaritime flowers. I remember seeing them near the waterfront on the east side of the harbor. I think now would be a good time to just quickly unlock the Hydro Traveler. Just, just really quickly. Won't, won't take long. the lag starting to sit in, I think. See, let's, let's get the 
Hydra Traveler. And then go from there. Why did this why? The elevator spins? Obviously I don't encourage jumping on elevators in real life, that could very much break it and take many lives. Okay, there we go. Stash of the Seven. The world opens itself before those with noble hearts. Like somewhere up here is the uh, are the are the robots. Did the light just start? Eh. Did light just start flooding from that statue? It's so weird. Did anything like this ever happen before? It's normal for a statue to glow. It, it didn't feel uncomfortable at all. If I was gonna believe you, if you can crack jokes like that, you must be fine. After it lit up like that, the air does feel a lot more humid. Maybe it's because of all that hydro energy that was released. If I don't throw that in Fontaine, if you can use elemental energy properly, you can even swim underwater. Ooh. That's cool. Oh yeah, we do kind of know that we're able to dive in Fontaine, so... I'll just fetch you out again. It's fine. Anyways, let's resonate with hydro. The serious power that flows out from the statue of beauty with the blessing of the transoceanic source water. Progress will remain unhindered so long as you are moving through the lakes of Fontaine. Uh, and then aquatic stamina. So basically, while we're swimming in Fontaine, we don't use up normal stamina. Oh yeah, then I guess we can do this event now. I will be doing this off camera. I'm, I'm not doing this on camera. Let's quickly uh, resonate with Hydro. We're already an hour in, goodness. Resonate with Hydro. There we go, and there's a Hydroculus, where is it? Is it all the way up there, are you kidding? Yeah, I'm not getting that until much later. Unless it's up here. Whatever. Um, what is your skill? Ooh. A seven second cooldown, huh? Okay. Uh, I think there's a whole version two. Yeah, for the sake of my own sanity, I'm not using the whole version on stream, I'm only using the tap version. And again, I might have to use the hold version here. Made quick work of that. I can tell you're an experienced traveler. I've also finished collecting a few here. Maybe next time you'll feel like helping too, Lynette. No way. I'm in power saving mode today. 
Otherwise, I fear I may not have any energy left for the performance at the Opera House. <sighs> Fine. Though the performance is still a long way off. Now that we're finished here, we should get ready to head back to the Court of Fontaine. So, we're going to the Court of Fontaine before we head to the Opera House? Good. Paimon wants a tour of Fontaine's largest city and try... Wait, shh. Have you noticed that person over there? The young girl. Huh? What's wrong with her? I might didn't notice anything. <laughs> She's obviously a thief. Magicians and thieves practice similar methods. We divert attention and a distracted audience is one that won't discover what you're really doing. Watch her movements carefully. Your voice down. We need to think of a way to catch her, but it seems she's very alert. Perhaps we should split up. You two can ride the lift over there and wait up top. I bet that'll be her escape route if she tries to run. All right, let's go. Well, good thing I already unlocked Hydra Traveler. Let me go. It's for a while now. Paimon wonders if Lenny caught the thief. Yeah, let's go. Uh, I don't have patience, so I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna glide. Oh, I wasn't supposed to do that. Whoops. <laughs> Whoopsies. Imagine what would happen if you managed to derail our performance as a result. <laughs> you're right, you're right. Sorry, Lynette. <sighs> I have to admit that the thief was even more skilled than I had anticipated. But at least we were able to get the stolen items back, so it wasn't a complete failure. What a slippery little thief! Guess things turned out all right. 
right in the end, though. Lily's initiative paid off! All right, let's put this little detour behind us. We should go to the Court of Fontaine now. This is an aqua bus. It allows people to travel between several key locations around Fontaine. It's pretty convenient, but the ride can become a little dull after a while. The scenery is always the same. So you mean it's still boring even when I'm riding with... Uh, no, that's not what I meant. It's just that, uh, well, you don't really talk that much. Besides, it doesn't really feel like a real trip when it's just the two of us. It's the same as being at home. <laughs> hmm. Whatever. Guess that's what it's like to be an older brother. <laughs> it's about time for us to leave. Let's get on board. Hey guys, look, it's French hey guys, look, it's Yenfei. Paimon. I would recognize the great magician Linny and his assistant Lynette anywhere. I wouldn't be much of a reporter if I didn't know who they were. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Charlotte, a reporter for the Steambird. Nice to meet you. From the Steambird, huh? We've often relied on your paper to promote our performances. It's an honor to meet you. that everyone knows each other, Fontaine suddenly doesn't feel like such an unfamiliar place. So, what have you been up to lately, Charlotte? Any big news? Not too much. When there isn't any breaking news, I mainly cover the trials at the Opera House. You can still manage to keep readers' attention as long as you tell things from a clever enough angle, even if it's the same old topics. For example, reporting on how a scammer once deceived vulnerable girls into relationships, or how a financial criminal was once so poor that they ate a single piece of bread for five days. Which is very impressive. Is very impressive. Ah, you're right. Seems you know me pretty well. What I'm really after is exclusive, sensational news pieces that could shake the country. These smaller stories are a waste of my talents. Oh, I just remembered. I've been following a case lately. Well, a series of cases, actually. You mean the serial disappearances of young women case? That's right! These stories are the talk of the town right now, and it's probably the most mysterious case we've ever seen. If I'm the first with a draft ready to publish when the case is finally cracked, and it's the headline story in the Steambird, 
When that happens, I bet all the other reporters will shed tears of envy. I've already gathered all kinds of materials. I just can't wait for the truth to be revealed. So, what is the serial disappearances of young women case? You mean the culprit hasn't been found? That's right. The first missing girl case happened almost 20 years ago. And ever since, after a period of time, another girl disappears. What the cases have in common is that the girls are all of a similar age, and that they've all vanished without a trace. But the scariest part is that to this day, none of the girls have ever been found. Many suspects have been arrested this over the years really in connection with this case, liquid. but shortly after each arrest, another disappearance would always happen. Like, I thought Inuzuma and Spiral were already dark, already dark, but this, dark, is dark. But this is just... Diving into diving depths, depths. Dark stories, dark pun stories, pun fully 100% intended. intended. Yes, it's possible. But either way, I believe that every case has some precise truth behind it, waiting to be exposed. Yes, I agree. And at the very least, the family of those missing girls deserves some sort of explanation. <laughs> I just imagined for a second what I would do if Lynette were to suddenly disappear. I'd pay any price to get her back, and then find a way to track down the culprit. Please don't imagine that, Lenny. Oh, oh, sweet brother. Sweet brother.
is, is the game mad? Oh, there we go. Oh, that's very pretty. Fontaine is so pretty. It really seems like there's like aqueducts basically everywhere. Those all for the aquabuses? Okay, there. Goodness gracious. Alright, so where's the next Statue of the Seven? All the way up there? Uh, you know what? It's fine. Uh, let's quickly navigate to there, actually. I know that, like, <laughs> the fact that I almost never seem to finish part one of the Archon Quests like, on stream is, is my fault. Like, genuinely. But, I mean, especially when it's, like, a new region, I just have this inclination to just explore as much as I possibly can. It seems like plot is gonna lead us right there. Oh, well, okay, it gives us no choice. Looks nice. Friday! Oh, that hat is adorable. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking. I see. Everyone is getting busier now that Father will be returning soon. I suppose that can't be helped. Allow me to introduce you to my little brother, Fremenay. He is a phenomenal diver. Uh, hello. Nice to meet you! Paimon is Paimon, and this is the Traveler! Oh, you sound very proud to have a diver as a brother, Linny. <laughs> uh, Linny, could you come here for a moment? Hmm? What is it, Fremenay? Do you have something to tell me? Okay, I see. Is everything all right? Oh, <laughs> it's nothing. We were just discussing a little housework. Sorry for the interruption. Oh, uh, before I forget, the Traveler and I collected more materials to make magic pockets. Were you able to get any, Fremine? Yes, I went diving and gathered lots of materials. I was about to give them to you. That's our Fremine, always quick with the underwater work. All right, I'll take these to the workshop. Hmm, looks like rain. Sure is weird. <laughs> I'm afraid that's just how it is here. It often rains on days where there are trials being held in the Opera House, but don't worry, it'll clear up soon enough. <sighs> hmm? What's wrong, Fremenay? There's a legend about the rain that I tend to believe. It's said that a dragon of water once resided in Fontaine. Though we don't know where the dragon went, every time it weeps, the skies will cloud up and pour out rain. When I was a child, my mother told me that if I wanted to go outside and play, I should yell to Hydro Dragon! Hydro Dragon! Don't cry! If it's an elemental dragon, then having the power to make it rain... ...it wouldn't be very unusual. Try something. Hydro 
Dragon, Hydro Dragon, don't cry! Hmm? <laughs> Doesn't seem to be of any use. It is just a legend, after all. You know, you might be a more popular magician if you understood the concept of romanticism. Or could at least play along. <laughs> Sorry. It might be because we've never met the Hydro Dragon. Perhaps it can't be comforted by the words of strangers. Hmm. It rained for longer than I suspected. Oh, it's already getting late. Was there something you needed to do, Lenny? Yeah, some preparations for the show at the Opera House. I need to find a way to catch the last Aquabus of the day. On the day of the performance, just ride the Aquabus to the island of Araneus. I'll have Lynette meet you at the fountain in front of the Opera House. Oh, uh, are you leaving now? What is it, Fremenet? I'm in a hurry. Oh, I get it. You feel nervous delivering the materials for the Magic Pockets, is that it? Perhaps we could trouble the Traveler to help us take these materials to the Beaumont Workshop and deliver them to the owner there? I'm afraid that Fremenet can be quite introverted, and the boss there tends to be pretty talkative. <laughs> Fremenet has always been a little afraid of her. No trouble at all! Don't worry, we're on the case! Sorry for the inconvenience. I'm quite useless when it comes to such tasks. I'll think of a way to make it up to you. Oh, no need, no need. This will be a walk in the park for us. lines. Hopefully we'll be able to see the traveler burst at some point. Okay, so yeah, you're a little, a little higher up. Yeah, I'm sure I'll find the, the statue soon. Customers? Looking to buy, or do you need something made? Or perhaps you're just looking for a chat with me. Oh no, we're just here to deliver some materials. Here they are. They're for making... Uh... What were they called again? Ah, these must be for magic pockets. I could tell right away. I've already made several orders worth now. No, no need. They've already prepaid several batches worth. When they told me what they'd be using them for, I even offered them a discount. But they insisted on paying the full amount, saying that I had a business to run. <laughs> it seems both their hearts and their pockets are made of gold. Wow. So, is Lenny actually loaded? Mm, I can't say for sure, but who knows? Maybe there's good money to be made being a magician in Fontaine. Hey, is this machine what you use to make stuff here? It looks really advanced! Why use your hands when a machine can do the work? It would be a waste not to use the latest technology. And wasting is a kind of crime. But where does a big machine like that get its power from? Ah, uh, well... It's a little complicated. I'm not sure I can put it in layman's terms for you. But basically... Everything we usually use here in the city is powered by indemnidium. It's a type of energy that's produced from trials. Huh? How can trials produce energy? 
Well, I'm not completely sure of all the details myself, but basically... When a trial is in session, the Oratrice Mécanique d'Analyse Cardinale harvests people's belief in justice and converts it into energy to be used all around Fontaine. I'm only referring it to... I'm only referring to the machine as the Oratrice. Or... Yeah, Oratrice. I'm just saying Oratrice. I'm not going... I'm not saying the full name. <laughs> Too long. I'm just gonna say Oratrice. Primarily because I already forgot the full name of it. <laughs> I'm just I'm just saying over trees. Well, I've seen a heat up both the gods rely on belief to obtain power. Barkon relies on the machine to take the energy created by belief and turn it into power for all of Fontaine, right? Even though I've never heard anyone really put it that way before, it sounds like it makes sense. Besides Indomidium, we have another type of energy called Numusia. It isn't produced by the power of the Archon, but it is unstable by nature. Even now, it still cannot be widely used by civilians. <laughs> I thought I'd find you hard at work, but here you are chatting the day away. Since you're already talking, I'm sure you wouldn't mind a few words with me. Y you again? Didn't I already promise you that I'd have the more I owe to confer Re of Cabrier by next month? Why are you hounding me now? Yeah, but how do we know that you won't go running off by the end of this month? I want 50% today. Wait, no, 70%. Huh? You. Seems business isn't so great for the workshop. We've already finished our job and delivered the materials. Maybe now's a good time to leave? Hey, hold on! Before you go around trying to collect payments... Oh look, it's Ed Sheeran. If Cabriere wants to poach clients from Northland Bank, that's fine. But I'm... For legal reasons and every other reason that exists, that is a joke. Yeah, Tartagles... Tartagles is back, it seems. <laughs> I smell hypocrisy. Hypocrisy is a scent that I can smell. It's in the air. In Fontaine! You didn't want to stay in Stejnaya? <laughs> Long story short, I've already been in Fontaine for some time now. And honestly, things have been pretty boring. But it seems that fate brought our paths together today. Not only will I have some good friends here now, but ones who always seem to find trouble. Either way you look at it, it seems things are going to get a lot more interesting now. Pretty sure we'd want to avoid anything that you'd find interesting. Besides, our trip here has gone pretty well so far. Right, Trevor? <clears throat> uh, hey, you, Northland Bank boy. Aren't you forgetting something? Don't interrupt. It's not often I run into the Traveler like this. Why don't you wait for me over there for a while? Are you kidding? Aren't you the one looking for us? You really expect us to sit and twiddle our thumbs while you catch up with your friends? Listen to me, boy. If you want your Mora, fine. Why don't you come and take it? Hey, I just said not to interrupt. Oh, by the way, Traveler, the last time I took Tonya and Tuser ice fishing, Tuser said... Hey! That's way over the line! All right, boys! Let's see who has to... <sighs> Why does he have to interrupt a good story? Come on... Oh, do we get to see Tartagle's fight? Head. They're all ears. All, all hours, really. It's been a while since I've uh, messed with <laughs> Dartagles' uh, playstyle. Alright, let's do it. Come on, chop. Thank you.
room before skill even ran out. from Snezhnaya's Northland Bank! Wait, don't tell me you're... <laughs> oh, now you notice. It's a little late, don't you think? Just make sure you understand that you don't mess with Northland Bank. Got it? Uh, huh? Now's my chance! Huh, that was weird. I'm not sure. It's as if I suddenly lost control of my hydro powers when I needed them. Maybe there's something wrong with my vision? Strange. How could that happen? First time Paimon's ever heard of someone losing control of their vision. Same here. Same here. Never mind. It doesn't matter. If I want to stay sharp, I shouldn't be relying too much on my vision anyway. Besides, I always have my delusion in case I need it. So what are you doing in Fontaine, child? I don't see its work for Northland Bank. Well, I guess it's because I've been in a bad mood lately. Huh? What kind of reason is that? Wait, since when do you feel down about anything? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I still have a lot to learn about myself. But recently, there seems to be some sort of restless power stirring inside of me. And I don't know why, but every now and then I feel like I'm in a terrible mood. Hmm. Maybe you losing control of your vision just now is connected with that power you're feeling inside. Hmm. That is a possibility. I can't remember if I ever mentioned it before, but when I was 14, I fell into some unknown abyss. It was during that time I learned nearly all of my abilities. The one who took me under her wing and taught me was named Skirk. She was always quiet and very mysterious. Nobody knew where she came from or what she had been through, and she was always very strict when teaching me combat techniques. One time, I asked her why she was willing to take me on as an apprentice. From what I could make of her answer, it was because I had awakened it, and traces of it remained on me. She said that all my combat training would be useful in the future. But what is it? What did you awaken? She never explained that, but my guess is that it's related to a dream I saw when I had just fallen into that abyss. In my dream, I was in the deepest depths of the sea, and the boundless seabed was all around me. But in front of me appeared a whale that was so massive, I felt like I couldn't breathe. A whale? Oh, that sounds familiar! When we fought against you before, you summoned a huge whale that seemed to leap at us. Is that the one? <laughs> That's just an abstract form of a whale that I create using my elemental powers. It takes that shape because the scene I dreamt of the whale has always been stuck in my mind. I'll never forget it. So you used the whale as inspiration for one of your moves? Huh. Seems a little twisted to Paimon. So why don't you just go ask your master? Maybe she knows the answer. You make it sound so easy. Ever since the incident I experienced there, I've never stopped searching for Master Skirk and that unknown abyss. But it's been years now, and I've still found nothing. There isn't even a trace of the place where I remember falling into the abyss. Oh, it sounds like some kind of ghost story. Yeah, I'm out of leads at this point, but there's nothing more I can do. It seems that strange encounters in this world tend to be elusive. like that. Oh, seems the time really flies when I'm talking with you. I just remembered I have... Somewhere else I need to be, so I should get going. What? More work for the Northland Bank? 
No, it's more of a personal appointment. Lately, I've been sparring with some of Fontaine's official champion duelists whenever I'm feeling bored. Official champion duelists? You mean it's their job to duel? Yep. In Fontaine, before a criminal goes to court, they're given one chance to defend their honor by requesting a duel with an official champion duelist. The champion duelists are all powerful fighters selected from among the nation's best, and the duel itself is a no-holds-barred fight with no specified stopping point. So engaging in such a duel is regarded as a symbol of defending your honor. If a criminal manages to win the duel, they'll be acquitted, but if they lose, they'll have no choice but to stand trial. And the worst case scenario is that you're simply killed in the duel. Though it's rumored that Fontaine has a death penalty, from what I can tell, no one has ever been officially sentenced to death. So really, the only people who opt to duel are those who have suffered a grave injustice in being accused, or those who greatly value their honor. Otherwise, why gamble with your life? So, do many people actually get out of their trials by winning the duel? Apparently, it's exceedingly rare for anyone to actually win. Fontaine probably enacted this system as a way to show that the nation respects the honor of its citizens. Besides, none of the champion duelists are to be trifled with, which is exactly why I was itching to face them as soon as I got to Fontaine. Apparently, the one I'm meeting today, Clorend, is the strongest of the champion duelists. I had been asking her for some time before she finally agreed to face me today. Well, that's child for ya! Hmm. Paima feels like we heard that name somewhere before. Cloran. Oh, before I forget, I want you to have this. Huh? Your... vision? You're seriously just giving it away? I'm just worried that it could become uncontrollable again. I'd be pretty upset if it got in the way of my duel, so... I think I'll be better off without it for now. Besides, I just need you to hold on to it for a short while. I'll come retrieve it when I have some time later. Hyman knows what you're up to. You just want an excuse to come talk to us again, don't you? <laughs> Whatever gave you that idea? I'll be in touch later. <laughs> that sneaky guy! He said he's been feeling down lately, but he seemed the same as ever to Paimon. <sighs> well, seems we don't have much to do for now. We might as well walk around and see the city before Lenny's performance. Oh, I thought we would have like a slight chance to explore a tiny bit. Never mind. Ah, well, looks like we get to see Lenny's performance though, so. <clears throat> Why do I... Yeah, but depending on how it goes, there is a slight chance we could end up going into overtime. Because <sighs> I don't really know how long the request is going to take, or if there's like, any points where we won't really be able to just leave and come back. Because if you guys don't remember in 3.2, uh, yeah, in the Sumero Archon quest when we met the Tore, we couldn't use teleport waypoints for a little bit. So I'm slightly curious if Fontaine's gonna have an area like that in, in the first part. But I guess we will see. I'm just gonna continuously relentlessly tease Pylon. Yeah. Oh, I wonder what the books here are gonna be like. Cause I know that in each nation you have um books books to collect. So
let's let's go see the let's let's go see Lenny the game the game magician perform. Oh yeah, we actually have control of our character now. Got some tunes. Uh, boop. All the way up there? Are you kidding? Okay, how am I supposed to get up? Oh, well, I guess take the stairs. I guess we just take the stairs all the way up. Oh, there's a waypoint here. Hold on. Let's quickly do that. There we go. Okay, how am I supposed to get up there, I wonder? Do I climb? Oh yeah, I guess just following the sparkles is this is a is a good start. We're going down, head up. Oh, viewpoint. Very far from the from the statue. See how quickly. Oh jeez. It doesn't seem that far from the statue of the uh, course. Right at the Navia line and head to Arrhenius. I have no idea where I'm even supposed to go. <sighs> but I have an odd feeling that I just selected the wrong place. Yep. Wrong place. Oh well. Oh! Well, there's... <laughs> Fate led me straight to the statue. Nice. Let's go Billy. Let's stop wasting time and get the statue. This is not the right floor. Oh. I guess if I just looked a couple seconds, I would have known right away. Ah, oh, well. Alright, let's pop on. And of course, I will be um, looking for the Hydroculi a little, like, as an off camera thing. Hellfame. Okay. And depending on how this, uh, on like how long the ride takes, I might just save the, uh, oh, there's the last two. that was just marked. I'm not gonna get that just yet. Well, I'll get it later. <sighs> and there's a... Uh, what we'll call a... Uh, 
Shrine of Death is over there. Looks like we still have to deal with those. So let's grab that. There we go. Okay. See so how we kind of have to go through this way? Oh, and there's just a hydroculus right here. Okay, I guess we'll grab it. Is it uh, really easy to hit that? Honestly, the hydroculus is so pretty. Yeah, that's the exception to my whole uh, collecting the hydroculi off camera thing, because it was right there. Perfectly accessible. Yeah, I'll probably just save uh, Lenny's performance for the next episode. Mainly because I got sidetracked and kind of. Um, Well, not really sidetracked, but I tried entering Fontaine before I was supposed to, basically. Please bless us with a bright and healthy child. We pray. I don't know why you always feel the need to ask so much. I'll be happy as long as our child is healthy and lives a peaceful life. <laughs> I guess if there are, kid, then there's no doubt they'll turn out smart. Maybe this is one of the customs in Fontaine. There sure are a lot of couples here. Vashane. What's wrong? Vashane. Vashane. No, I'm not didn't say anything. Are you hearing things? Welcome to the Fountain of Lucene. All the water flowing through Fontaine converges here. It's customary for newlyweds to come here and wish for children. Ah! Oh, Lynette! You scared Paimon! Why did you get here? Hmm, when he asked me to wait here for you, remember? Ah, right. What do you mean? There are a lot of people here right now. Ah! Hey, you're not trying to scare Paimon, are you? It's the middle of the day! It's not the time for eerie things! Hmm, I see. I might be able to tell you something that could help explain the voice you heard. In fact, 
you might not be imagining things at all. I suspect that what you've heard is a result of your hypersensitivity to the hydro element. Others in my family have had similar experiences. It's because of his sensitivity to the hydro element? But what would hearing a voice have to do with elemental power? When do you cry, Paimon? Wait, what? What does that have to do with anything? Just answer me. When do you cry? Uh, when Paimon's really sad? Oh, and when Paimon's super happy. Oh, and also when Paimon's really, really scared. So basically, when Paimon feels any sort of intense, any intense emotion. Contain your most intense emotions. Like I just mentioned, the Fountain of Lucene is where all the flowing water in Fontaine converges. Even the tears that fall to the ground will eventually gather here. So maybe what you heard was the intense emotion coming from someone's tears. So, what did the voice say? Huh. If you were hearing their emotions, then Paimon wonders what happened to them. Rather than worrying about them, we should worry about my brother first. Don't let that calm look of his fool you. He tends to get pretty nervous just before a performance. So chatting with Linny might help him relax a little before he goes on stage. Oh, right. That makes sense. Let's go in and see Linny. Sadly, I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to sadly save that for the next time around. Because we are getting pretty dang close to two hours. So, yeah, we, we, we are oh, actually just gonna have to just save this for the next episode. Anyways. If you guys enjoyed this stream, and you are on the YouTube side of things, then please be sure to comment, like, subscribe, and as always, stay awesome. And if you're one of the lovely people who decided to take time out of your day, afternoon, or evening to come watch this stream live, as it is happening, or you are here for the two weeks that it's on Twitch before I transfer it on over, then... Please be sure to drop a follow, and maybe even a subscription if you have not done so already. Small reminder that those with Twitch Prime are able to get a free one month subscription to a streamer of their choosing. So if you have not used that with someone else, I encourage you to use that here. And as always, long live the rebellion.